Okay. Is this all the information that the question gave us? Make sure we have all the information. Okay, so ABCT is a circle. AC and BT are diameters. What do they say about? Well, if the two of those are diameters, then O must be the center. They say that O is O is the center. So we could we can determine from AC and BT crossing each other. The two diameters of a circle cross where they intersect is the center of the circle. Yeah? That makes sense. Alright, so any other information? Yeah. T is the tangent. Okay, so the tangent TP meets BA produced a P. What do we know about something about a line being a tangent to a point? Does it mean that this is 90 degrees here? Right there? Uh, for example, from PTB. Does it mean that this angle formed here is 90 degrees? Because it's a tangent? Alright, let's let's see what happens. What, what are we, what's the first thing? You, you were able to figure out any of the questions or you just no. stuck totally? I can do it. Okay. This one? BTP. BTP. And this is to find the angle. Yes. Okay, so this notation here with the this sign here is the same as where the sign is on top here. Okay. What do we need to find BTP? Does the question tell us that BA and CT are parallel? If we were to draw another example of two diameters intersecting If we were to draw a circle with two diameters passing through the center Can you get a blue pen? Can I just make a circle look like a circle? But these are two diameters. The question is, is this line parallel to that line? The two lines, the two diameters are of the same length. We know that. So therefore all these lines are the same? Yes. We know that because they are a diameter, because BT and AC are diameters. Well, we know that we know that BT, this line here, passes through the center because it's a diameter. We know that AC passes through the center because it's a diameter. And you're suggesting that BA is the same as AT. And TC. And TC. I'm not sure if what can we what do we know that can what can we use to prove that? It's a circle. Okay. So what exactly? If AC and BT are diameters and CT and BA are parallel, yeah, we know that we know that AB, we know that AB and CT must be parallel. For any two for any two diameters that you could draw inside of this circle that cross through the center, the endpoints of any of the two lines here and here must be parallel. It's like taking two sticks, putting them at the pivot in the center, and then just moving them. The two resulting lines will always be parallel. Okay. 
So how do we know what the length of AT is? Does it have to be the same as the length of AB? And we have the same we have the same length here, here, here and here. So OB, OA, OT and OC are all the same distance, same size. And B joins to P, right? And if A joins B goes through to P? Yes. And A joins to T. Doesn't that mean that here is like a nice triangle? It looks like it could be 90. But what do we have that can prove it's 90 degrees? If you join that line, it can be not perpendicular to a line joining the other two. Because a circle is a circle. Look at this. Step. Look at this example here. That is not a good example. Well, we know from this example that the lines had to be parallel. Whichever diameter you could draw, if you draw a diameter here, let's do it. Use use blue. No, give me a blue diameter passing through here from this point. All the way across. Okay. Now construct. Wait, 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 wait. I want, I want you to give me a line now, from this point to here, going that way, and then from this point to here. Give me two lines like that. Yeah. One and two. And there, there we could see that the two lines will be parallel, no matter what two diameters you construct inside the circle. You want another circle. Any two diameters. If you join this line and join this line here, it will be perpendicular. It doesn't look perpendicular now. Yeah, well, nothing. This this doesn't look parallel either. Well, we really the two blue lines here, this one and this one. Yes. Yeah, you can tell those are parallel. Yeah, that's good enough. Now it has to go through the center. Right. If you join the top here. Here. Yeah, okay. Right. Then you get two parallel lines, right? Yes. And if you join here to here, it'll be the same thing. Because here and here will be perpendicular. So here and here. Mm -hmm. Which will give you that square. So both of these are right angles, and these, these, and these. Alright, so then this is 92. Alright, let's erase. Erase all of these things, except for this one here. Let me erase this one. So this diagram here, because it's the same principle as this one here, helps us to realize that we don't necessarily form a square when two diameter lines intersect at the center. Because depending on how the two diameters are constructed, this piece, this distance here could be longer than this distance here. So we don't know for certain if A, B, C, T is in fact a square. The question may work out that it's a square, but we don't know that. And this second diagram here helps us to realize that it's possible for it not to be a square, thus we can't assume that A, T is the same distance as A, B.